Good evening, graduates, parents, guardians, family members, distinguished guests, and Cardinal Carter faculty. Welcome to our commencement and graduation award ceremony for the Cardinal Carter graduating class of 2020. We're happy to celebrate with you this evening. My name is Tatiana Dauchek, an English teacher here at Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, and I will serve as your presider of ceremonies this evening. Grade 12s, we're so excited to share this moment with you because perhaps more than any other graduating class ever, you deserve acknowledgement and celebration. This moment is a culmination of many years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance, especially in your last semester. On behalf of all of the staff, I want to let you know that we are so proud of you. Teachers and staff members are watching this presentation as well. And when your photo comes up on the screen, know that there will be teachers and staff who are smiling in fondness, nodding in acknowledgement, and sharing a memory or two with your families. We also want to acknowledge parents, siblings, and everyone else who has consistently and diligently worked to guide and support you, our valued graduates. This is a wonderful moment for all of you as we come together to celebrate this milestone with you, our graduating class of 2020. We will begin with the national anthem sung by Cardinal Carter student, Sierra Yu under the direction of Ms. Leung, followed by the opening prayer and land acknowledgement. On this day of new beginnings, Lord, we place our class of 2020 in your hands. Dear graduates, before you were even formed, God knew you. At your birth, God's breath filled you with life. Today we celebrate what you have become at this moment in time. And so we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of beginnings, we thank you for the gifts of our graduates of 2020, their excitement, their awesome wonder and curiosity, their open speech and encouraging words. As they step forward into the world that awaits, comfort their fears with the full knowledge of your divine presence. Strengthen their resolve to walk in the footsteps of Jesus as modern day disciples. Guide their feet as they move through life protecting them from the pitfalls of darkness while they, help their, while they help to lead future generations into the warmth and promise of your light. We ask this blessing upon each of them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our land acknowledgement. We are gathered on the ancestral lands and waters of all Indigenous peoples who have left their footprints on Mother Earth before us. We respectfully acknowledge those who have walked on it, those who walk on it now, and future generations who have yet to walk upon it. We pray to the Creator for strength and wisdom that all may continue to serve as stewards of the earth. 
with us this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates in academics and their contribution to our school and community and who will be addressing our graduates is Trustee of Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, Ms. Elizabeth Crow. Interim Director of Education and Secretary of the Board, Ms. Mary Batista. Superintendent of Secondary Schools of Education, School Leadership, Ms. Eugene Pavato. And current Principal of Cardinal Carter Catholic High School, Ms. Rakina N. Toons. A special thank you to Associate Director of Education, Ms. Nancy DiNardo, for attending our graduation ceremony this evening. Congratulations, graduates. I never miss the opportunity to recognize the accomplishments of our students. Who would have known four years ago when you started in grade nine that your graduation year would have been upended by a global pandemic? But you are very resilient. You survived. You graduated from high school. I know that your parents, your teachers, and my fellow trustees are very proud of your accomplishments. And now you are facing new challenges, whether you are taking virtual classes in college or university, or you're looking for a job in a, in a market that's very difficult. And I know that you will once again be successful, that you will persevere because you have been given a great foundation by your teachers and your parents. Never forget to ask for help from your family, from your friends. Don't forget the power of prayer and once again, congratulations on behalf of the York Catholic District School Board. Stay safe and God bless you and your families. Greetings. It is an honor to join you today and it is a privilege to congratulate you on your high school graduation. Although the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has altered our celebratory plans, today's graduation remains a tribute to the personal and academic growth you have experienced throughout your time at this wonderful school. Everybody here shares in your excitement and is proud of how far you have come and what you have accomplished. To the parents and families of our graduates, as we honor the graduating class of 2020, we celebrate the enduring love, guidance and care that you have given your children throughout their elementary and secondary school years you are to be congratulated for the support that you have provided. As our graduates embark on the next stage of their life, whether it be work, apprenticeships, college, or university, they will continue to need your guidance and encouragement, but in a new way that reflects their growing understanding of the world. This is a time of change, not only for our graduates, but for families too. I have no doubt that the faith and love you celebrate together as a family will ease this transition. I would like to thank our school administrators for their dedication and leadership during the school year. I would also like to thank the many teachers, educational workers, support staff, custodians, and the entire school team for their many contributions to the success of our graduates. These are challenging times and we are truly grateful for all you have done to ensure the health and well-being of your students. Thank you for inspiring our students and supporting them on their educational journey. Graduates, this is your moment. The friendships forged, memories made, and lessons learned during your time far extend the classroom. You might not realize it yet, but this school has had a positive and profound impact on your life, and it is my hope that you will continue to make us all proud as alumni. As you bid farewell to high school, it is the perfect time to reflect on your many accomplishments while also anticipating the new challenges and exciting experiences that life will bring you in the future. May you continue to be, as your family, school, and parish have taught you, positive role models who reflect our Catholic graduate expectations as collaborative contributors and caring, responsible citizens. Your parents and I recognize the importance of publicly funded Catholic schools, where students are encouraged to express their faith throughout their lessons and day-to-day -day school activities. May your future be rich, with new experiences as you follow the guiding light of Christ. Know that God is always with you on your journey.
Congratulations on graduating high school. I wish you much success in the years ahead. Thank you and God bless. Greetings to you all on behalf of the Senior Administration of the York Catholic District School Board. We've learned a great deal over the past four years, but Catholic education is not just about learning. It is about our communion together, one body in Christ. The struggles you have endured and the gains you have made can never be separated from the people who have been a part of your lives, parents, teachers, fellow students and friends. Your diplomas are a celebration of what you have learned, but they are even more so about what you are now called upon to do. Take what you have learned and build the kingdom of heaven on earth. May your faith keep you strong, wise, and loving. Congratulations, graduates. God be with you. Good evening, honored guests, faculty members, family, parents, and above all, our graduates. This evening, we gather to celebrate your academic success and to honor your commitment and dedication and hard work over the past four years of your Catholic high school education. Your grade 12 year has been like no other. You left school for your March break and returned to a new reality, a virtual reality. We could no longer return to school for face-to-face -face learning and we had to learn to adapt to learning virtually. The COVID-19 pandemic forced face-to-face -face learning to abruptly come to an end. You had to adjust to learning in a virtual learning environment. You experienced rapid change, challenges, and new opportunities as you worked to complete your grade 12 year. But you did not give up. You kept your spirits high and you were courageous and determined to make it through. In the face of rapid change, and as we were forced to self-isolate in order to keep each other safe. It is a result of your perseverance and resiliency that you are here this evening. Tonight is an opportunity for us to self-reflect and to be proud of how far you've come and all that you've accomplished. You are definitely not the same person that you were when you started your grade 12 year. You are wiser, smarter, adept at overcoming obstacles, and you have learned that challenges and setbacks do not define you. You have discovered that you have limitless potential to accomplish great things, even in the harshest of circumstances. You learned how to put others first before yourself, and that love and compassion is the light that peeks through the darkness and gives us hope in the most uncertain and difficult times. Despite all our setbacks, you continue to achieve and give your best. To your teachers and support staff, thank you for your exemplary leadership and care of our graduates and for doing the impossible to support our graduates during the school closure. Thank you for your commitment to their education and for your guidance and support of our graduates over their four years of high school. A special thank you to our graduation committee who worked behind the scenes to put this virtual graduation together for us. Graduates, as a Catholic community of faith, tonight we recognize an important milestone in your life, the completion of four years of your Catholic high school education. The reading from Matthew's Gospel reminds us that Jesus said to his disciples, you are salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. As Catholic graduates, may you lead with integrity, spread Jesus's message of love and acceptance, and be a light of hope to others. As you start the next leg of your journey, remember to take time to be still and to find God's voice in your life. In the business of your life, it's important to not lose sight of your life purpose, which is to be a good person and to bring joy to your life and to those around you. It is a reality that life comes with its ups and downs. Your days will not always be sunny. You will have cloudy and stormy days, but God is with you through it all. During these difficult times, take time to be still and to listen to God's message to you. It will lead you in the right direction. Graduates, Thank you for breathing life into your school community and for your spirit of generosity. To all the students, 
I am so proud of your strength of character and your determination to stay hopeful and to lead good lives. As you move on to the next chapter of your life, I want you to remember that your life has a purpose. It is not meaningless. You are meant to be alive. You have the ability to change your life and the lives of others. You are not meant to be like somebody else. You are meant to be you. There is no such thing as a perfect life. Life is what you make of it. Believe in yourself. Remember to do your best and forgive yourself and others. Never give up. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and that an exit is also an entrance. Be not afraid. God will not abandon you. Nourish your soul and your spirit by making time for God in your life. May God's blessing follow you as you all find new journeys to travel. May you walk safely along the pathways of your dreams. May God's gentle hand guide the decisions that you will make and the passions that you will follow. May your hearts and lives always reflect God's love and truth. And may hope be a light within you that you carry into each new day. God bless you, graduates. We have now arrived at the conferral of the diplomas as the graduates are recognized for their achievement of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. During the virtual conferral of diplomas, students will also be recognized for the following accomplishments. Students graduating from the International Baccalaureate Program. Students graduating with a Business Specialist High Skills major. Students graduating with honors. Students graduating as Ontario Scholars. Students earning a Department Appreciation Award and students earning Top Subject Award for Highest Mark. Please refer to your digital program for a description of these awards.
join me in congratulating the graduating class of 2020. We will now continue our ceremony by recognizing students who have achieved school and community awards. Congratulations to all the graduates and award recipients. That concludes the awards portion of this evening. We now come to the very special time in the ceremony when the students welcome a spokesperson to speak on their behalf. The valedictorians elected by the graduating student body will congratulate, address, and deliver a final send off to the graduates. Let's congratulate and welcome this year's valedictorians, Isabella Capiello and Dante Crescenzi. Between the years of 2019 and 2020, the world underwent many great changes that challenged people of all ages, notably those anticipating the celebration of major accomplishments 
such as weddings, baptisms, birthdays, or in our case, graduation, the event that we have all so diligently worked towards over the last 12 years. Today, we finally celebrate the overdue achievements of Cardinal Carter students. So long overdue that the bathroom mirrors actually got replaced before we had a formal graduation. We remember and cherish all the memories, the late nights, the early mornings, and all the joys of being a high school student. The past four years we have spent together have been filled with many laughs, memories, and accomplishments which we will never forget and will hold closely to our hearts for the rest of our lives. Our journey throughout the years encompassed hundreds of individual paths and definitely some roadblocks along the way, but we have all arrived at a common destination and ultimately found success. Today we wish to welcome family, friends, staff members, honored guests, and most importantly, the class of 2020 to the graduation that not even a global pandemic could stop. But before this introduction runs on too long and calf cookies go up another 25 cents, we would like to take this time to introduce ourselves. Alongside me today is Isabella Capiello, or more commonly known to the grade as Cap. And with me is Dante Crescenzi, whose last name isn't quite catchy enough for a cool nickname. Together we are so excited and honored to have been given the opportunity to speak on behalf of the class of 2020 as we embark on the next stage of our lives and remember all that we have gained from our experiences at Cardinal Carter. A common characteristic between our students has always been perseverance. This trait is best seen as even with our senior year being cut short, we have found ways to adapt and unite together. This ceremony is not to serve as an ending, but rather as a new beginning, as we continue on with our own journeys. All right, it's about time we adjust the elephant in the room. This is strange, right? Who would have expected that we would celebrate graduation like this? The history department taught us about the impacts global pandemics have had on the world. This was difficult to comprehend as the concept was so foreign to us, but now we've become the living history lesson that generations will come to learn about. With the drastic effects of coronavirus, we would like to extend our warmest condolences to members of our community who have lost loved ones or have endured hardship due to the negative impacts of the virus. The repercussions of COVID-19 have not been easy to say the least. Each of us has faced difficulty adjusting to a world of lockdowns, social distancing, and safety provisions overtaking our every activity. We acknowledge the missed opportunities of senior year due to school closures and the severity of the virus, but we hope to recognize that although we lost half the year, we nevertheless shared three and a half other incredible years together. The Fitness Grand Pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. Sound familiar? In our first year of high school, we heard that monotone voice out of a scratchy CD player yelling at us to run back and forth between two marked lines, all while trying to keep up with the fast-paced and terrifying beeps. The reality of this test serves as a perfect comparison to our high school years. Stressful, tiring, and at times, a struggle to keep up with deadlines. The test starts out with instructions. You are guided through every action with your course laid out for you, and you begin this challenge with the entirety of your phys ed class. Much like grade 9, things started out pretty calmly. We were carefully integrated into the school environment, were taught what to do, where to go, and were constantly surrounded by guiding voices. As we continued, things became faster paced. Grade 10 was like the lower levels of the beep test. We all made it, but we slowly began to feel the intensity. The school became more familiar, curriculum became more engaging, friend group shifted, and now graphs and math class began to look like smiley faces. Although more difficult, this next level provided comfort. We were proud to have made it into the next stage and had finally escaped the introductory level, or as we were called, Niners. Overall, grade 10 provided a comforting challenge. We were pushing harder than before, but had reached a solid level of stability, at least until the next level. Like the next stages of the beep test, grade 11 was the greatest challenge most of us had known. Not only had the time between the beeps gotten shorter, but it felt like the lines we had to run between got even farther apart. The jump from grade 10 to grade 11 is infamous. Everybody experiences challenges at different times, but there is no ignoring the leap between these two grades. We gained more freedom, started getting our licenses, and began to take courses we were actually interested in. Just like the higher levels of the beep test, grade 11 was the point where we became more focused on ourselves. We were no longer focused on being the person beside us, or even making it right to the end. We realized that it was not about making it to the next level, it was about making it to our personal best. 
With this realization, grade 12 commenced and our past years of running around became worth it. It was the final level, the level where we got results and when we achieved all that we had worked towards. The only difference was that before we could touch that last line, we were interrupted by the worst timed fire drill in the form of a pandemic. A grade has seen a lot of changes occur at Carter. We've seen the Mission Impossible theme song in the morning go extinct, the benches in the foyer disappear, and even seen Mash shave his head and beard. But nothing could have prepared us for the pandemic. COVID made our beep test run much more challenging. We were no longer running alongside each other in a sweaty room, and instead we were remotely running from our own homes while in quarantine. The upsetting part was we didn't even know that the last line we touched would be our last. We left school on March 13th, or March 12th, when our lock was full, brains heavy, and in desperate need of the week-long break. See you in a week quickly turned into see you in a month, which escalated to see you on Google Meets, and before we knew it, we were saying have a good summer and see you in October. But today we are finally completing our beep test. We did it. After four years of hard work and dedication, we have reached an unforgettable milestone. As earlier mentioned, there is a level of perseverance among our students that resonates throughout the Carter hallways. Each student chose to learn, to participate, and to grow not only for a percentage of their report card, but even more so for themselves. Through our courses, teams, clubs, and councils, through the help of teachers, mentors, and beloved friends, we've been able to develop aspects of our personality that are not limited within the Carter walls, but will be taken with us wherever we go. The memories we have made are never to be forgotten. We have created something throughout these past four years that can never be taken away from us, and if there is anything we hope you take away from today, it is that you remember what it felt like to be a part of something, to be a part of the Carter Magic. Whether you are involved in arts or athletics, maths or sciences, clubs or councils, or anything Carter had to offer, you were a part of something greater than yourself. Something that made you feel like you weren't just one out of 1400 students, but rather part of one magical community. All the small things that made being a Carter student special. Go ahead, right now. Think about all the little things in your days at Carter that you'll remember forever, no matter how small. Things like laughing with your friends after an overcomplicated test question, where your friends are arguing about answers like 4.5 or 4.7, but you got negative 2006. Being late for class because you stayed in the library way too long at lunch. The feeling of finishing your last exam walking into a class with a supply teacher and seeing Mr. Shields at the front doing magic tricks. Costume contests on Halloween. Joseph's daily reminder to stay in uniform. These are merely a few of many special things that contributed to the magic created at Carter and which will stay with us throughout our future endeavors. The magic created within Carter's walls is something that will travel with you no matter where your journey takes you. The future of our graduating students shines brighter than ever before which we especially know, considering we have each already begun our next chapters. And no matter what you end up doing, always remember the place that helped you get there. Regardless of the impact Carter had on you, never forget that you had a second family, and always will. As every Carter graduate here today moves forward to their next chapter, we would like to offer a few pieces of friendly advice. Keep in contact with those who matter. Come back and visit. Spread kindness. Never settle for anything but the best. And as always, keep, keep it, it classy, classy, Carter. Thank you, Isabella and Dante. Congratulations to our valedictorians. And now Ms. Perini will offer our graduates a final prayer before we conclude our ceremony. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and gracious God, be with our graduates as they depart our Catholic school community. May they remember the important lessons they have learned at Cardinal Carter, particularly to remain lifelong disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, bringing the gospel with them wherever they go. Now that they are alumni of Cardinal Carter, may they always act in ways that bring honor to this community and ultimately bring glory to you and your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In closing, we would like to take a moment to thank the graduation committee members for their work behind the scenes for the planning and preparation of this evening. The members are listed in the graduation program. 
Congratulations to all of our graduates and their families. Thank you all for participating in our virtual graduation ceremony this evening. May God bless you, all of you, the graduating class of 2020.